Hey YouTube, what up? It's uh, Fraser from the Farmers United, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a new mod uh, called Zai's Farming Mod by Zai, obviously. Um, he lives in Queensland. I live in New South Wales, so feel a bit of connection. But anyway, this was suggested by um, Tommy22783. Um, so thank you for the suggestion. I really like this mod, and hopefully you guys like this video. I like making these kind of videos, and if you have any more suggestions, then um, leave a comment and I'll see if I will want to do it. But anyway, um, for this mod, you're going to need the latest mod loader. And for some reason, um, I don't think it works with Millennia because I had to get rid of Millennia for this to work. Uh, otherwise, I got like a. It, it used to just crash. So um, this mod brings 11 more fruit and vegetable seeds, 4 more fruit trees, uh, 12 of these items of edible food and altogether a total of 30 new items are brought to minecraft in a nutshell this mod brings to minecraft a lot more crops and trees but also some special items such as orange juice and lemonade so how to get them um some of the seeds which i'm about to mention can be found by tiling the ground with a hoe without this mod you only get wheat seeds but with this mod you get a lot more different seeds um, your chances also increase with the better mod, uh, with the better hoe you have, so diamond is obviously the best. Um, so pumpkins, you can tile the ground to get pumpkins, however, for a better chance of getting pumpkin seeds, you can tile the ground around pumpkins, um, which you find in the world, which but are pretty rare, so it's probably just best to um, tile the ground. Um, so for watermelon, it's the same thing. You have to uh, tile the ground until you get a watermelon melon seed, and then you tile around the watermelon um, to get a better chance. Um, and again, same for the yellow and the red flowers seeds. You just hoe around either the ground to get them, or you can just hoe around an actual red or yellow flower. Okay, so hybrid seeds are probably the most uh, used and important thing in this mod. Um, they're pretty much the start of genetically modified seeds. Um, to make them, you have to have um, red stone dust and normal seeds in your crafting inventory. Um, alone, the hybrid seeds make normal wheat, but however, they're three times bigger, like they're three times three blocks off. Um, this is pretty good for people who don't really tend to their farm every day. Um, and they also used to um, craft four new seeds. So more about genetically modified seeds. Um, if you want to make tomato seeds, um, you gotta combine hybrid and red flower seeds. Um, also, they do not get destroyed when you harvest the tomatoes. They sort of just like regrow. Um, corn seeds are made by hybrid seeds and yellow flower seeds. Um, cotton seeds are made by hybrid and pumpkin seeds. They also, like tomatoes, um, do not get destroyed when you harvest the cotton. They just sort of regrow by themselves without having to be replanted, which is pretty good. Um, the lettuce seeds are made by hybrid and watermelon seeds. So, um, if you want to make the um, fruit trees, you can... Uh, either you can go around the world and they sort of just turn up. Um, they're not as common as normal trees, but they're not rare by any means. You'll find them if you walk uh, like 100 meters, you'll find some kind of a tree. I reckon the lemon tree is the most common, but I haven't actually looked at the coding or anything to see if that's like fact or just what I reckon. But um, if you don't want to do this, like looking around for them and destroying branches to get the um, saplings, you can also use normal saplings, hybrid seeds, and for apples, you use red seeds. Uh, for lemons, you use yellow seeds. For orange, you use pumpkin seeds. And for avocado, you use watermelon seeds. I'll have all these pictures of uh, crafting them, so it's not too um, confusing. But you can also just destroy the branches to get the fruit and the saplings. Okay, so uh, what, what all these things do... Pumpkins, they can be placed in crafting blocks to make pumpkin pieces, which aren't edible. But if you put this in a, a furnace, it makes roast pumpkin, which heals three and a half hearts. Um, watermelons can be eaten, um, but they have to be unstacked. They, You put a watermelon in a crafting bench to get pieces, 
and they go into fours. Um, but you can only eat one at a time, like unstacked, and that heals two and a half hearts. There's popcorn. It heals two hearts. It's in the coding. It's in the game, but I have no idea how to get popcorn. Um, the only way I know so far is to use too many items or anything else like that. Um, if you guys leave a comment on how to get popcorn, I'll put an annotation on the video so other people can see it. Um, but anyway, corn cobs, they can be eaten and they heal two hearts. Um, and cooked corn cobs uh, heal three hearts. Tomatoes heal two hearts. Lettuces heal two hearts. Oranges heal two hearts. Lemons heal half a heart. Um, avocado he, um, heal two and a half hearts again. Orange juice can be drunk and they heal three and a half. Lemonade heal three and a half. And guacamole, I hope that's how you say it, heals four hearts. And don't worry if you don't know how to make all these things. Um, I will be soon telling you how to make them. Oh, actually, I'm making telling you now. So um, cotton can make string. And all you got to do is put two pieces of cotton um, vertically in a crafting bench to make string, which is pretty good if you don't kill spiders. Um, roast pumpkin, you just obviously put the pumpkin in a crafting box to get the uh, pieces. And then you put the pieces in the furnace and you get roast pumpkin. Um, cooked corn cob, obviously you just put the corn cob in the furnace and you get it. <laughs> so, uh, more harder things, orange juice. Uh, you put one glass block down the bottom and two oranges vertically above it. Uh, lemonade, one glass block down the bottom, a lemon in the middle and a sugar on the top from sugar cane if you don't know how to get sugar. Um, guacamole, you make an empty bowl, tomato, avocado and a lemon in a crafting order. It doesn't matter, in a crafting box, it doesn't matter what order you guys put it in. You can put it in like every order, but yeah. So why would I use this mod? Um, so you may ask yourself, well, why would I want this mod? There's pork, there's fish, there's cakes, and you can also hack it to get food. Um, so what would I say to that? I'd say this mod is for made for people who don't want to use too many items or any other spawning item mod, and it also creates variety, variety in the world of Minecraft, especially for people who enjoy or rely on farms to keep their health up. So bugs, um, I haven't seen any bugs so far, but I will like re mention this to reinforce how flawless and good coding that Zy makes. Um, the only thing I could mention, however, is um, the watermelon slices. You can't eat the watermelon slices um, unless they're not stacked. Um, I'm not sure if he meant to do this or if he's gonna like fix it in the next edition, as because. In 1.4 of Minecraft cookies, the first stackable item came out, so now he knows how to do it or whatever. But I think it might be more intentional. Um, so, but he may also, yeah, say this was intentional because watermelon slices heal two and a half each. So if they spam it, then they're all the way up to full health again. Um, I personally believe that the developer should either make eatable, um, eatable while stacked. However, bringing the health down to one or one and a half heart sort of uh, not make it so easy. Or he could um, make the stack higher to 16 or something so it saves space. So uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any other mods that you want me to review, leave a comment below and I'll um, see what I can do. Thanks.